your glory. This is another day, wonderful day that he has made. Beloved, let us pray. Heavenly Father, Almighty Jehovah, the Lord, our Savior, our King, Master Jesus. Father, we thank you this morning, Spirit of the living God. This is a vessel that you want to use. I avail myself this morning. Come and take control and let your word come forth. We give you the glory for a day like this, that your children around the whole world, we are still alive. It is by your message and your S that with you, all things are possible because life belongs to you. Without you, we cannot make it. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. For you alone is worthy to be praised this morning. May your will shall be done over us. In Jesus Christ, the mighty king, forever, O oh Lord, your word is settled. Amen. Beloved, this is another day. Our Lord Jesus Christ is in control. And he has given us a message. And the title of the message is the prophecy of our Lord Jesus Christ. And without wasting time, let us go to the scripture, which is Revelation 19. And it's about the word of God. Beloved, let's hear the word. Hallelujah. Revelation 19.10. And I read, oh, we serve a mighty God. And I fell. This is John, the apostle of John, of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I fell, Revelation 19.10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. But he said to me, see that you do not do that I am your fellow servant and your brethren who have the testimony of Jesus, worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Hallelujah. The testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ is a prophecy. It is the greatest among any gifts of a prophecy of our Lord Jesus Christ. The only power that saved mankind. The word is our Lord Jesus Christ. That is his gospel that transformed a life of a human being. That is the prophecy that John, the apostle, saw in Revelation that is to come. Beloved, when we have the prophecy of our Lord Jesus Christ, it transforms life. It saves life. So we need it. Because you and I, we were sinners. But when we accept him, oh, he's a merciful God. As he said, in Romans 8 and the verse is 12, he says that all our sins and our iniquity, if we believe in him, he will forgive us. And he will not remember it anymore. What a faithful king. What a faithful father. He alone needs to be worshipped. Beloved, we continue. Second Timothy and the verse is 110. Oh, mighty God. Mighty Jehovah, take control. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Second Timothy 2, 10. And I read, what a faithful king. We give him all the glory. Therefore, I endure all the things for the sake of elect, that they also may be obtained salvation, which is in Jesus Christ with internal glory. So beloved, it is only Jesus who can save. It is only Jesus who has salvation. Hallelujah. Because he alone paid the price for you and I on the cross. We don't deserve it. 
but he did it for mankind because of his love. So beloved, let us serve God in spirit and in truth. And salvation is the gift. And all people are rejecting it. And without Christ, you don't have salvation. Hallelujah. It is only that which our Lord Jesus Christ need our hearts. He knows that without giving the hearts, you are not a child of God. So he need our hearts. What is the light that open every door and let Christ enter? It is only that he want you to give it to him. The light come, that is the gospel of our Lord. That is his word that will not cease. And nothing can break the word of God. Hallelujah. Beloved, this is the testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is the spirit of the prophecy that saved mankind. The spirit of prophecy is when you get it out to testify the word of our Lord Jesus Christ by witnessing to others so they can accept the word. That is the spirit of the Holy Spirit that takes as before, and he know that every word that come is the word of God. Knowing the prophecy of the Lord, they will hear, and the person you are witnessing will accept the word. Oh, spirit of the living God, let us testify to our brothers and sisters so that they will also be saved. Hallelujah. Because we all are sinners and we fall short in Romans 3. And the verse is 23. We fall short of the glory of God. So when we are testifying to someone, we become a vessel through the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, that the person may have salvation. Oh, we give him all the glory. We give him all the honor. What a faithful father. What a faithful love. What a faithful king for us that we don't deserve, but he did it for us. Beloved, why should we be ashamed in Romans 1.8? Let us hear the word of God in Romans 1 and the verse is 16. Oh, beloved, for we should not be ashamed. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes for the Jews first, and also the Greek. Beloved, we need it. Salvation is for everyone. We should not be ashamed. As I heard the word of God, and my heart accepted the word, I also became saved. Because I was a sinful, doing my own things. And that was so evil before God. So I have to give my life to Christ. So this morning, same thing applies to you. We don't have to be ashamed to go out there and witness the word of God so that souls may be saved. Like I said, in Romans 3, 23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So why I won't go out there and preach the gospel for a soul to be saved. Holy Spirit will move us to go where he wants us to speak or to witness the word to the people so that 
they also will be saved. He knows every heart, those who want the truth of the, the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What a mighty Lord. I want to sing a song to glorify my maker that what he has done is so great, is so wonderful. He is wonderful. Hallelujah. He is wonderful. My Savior is so wonderful. He is wonderful. Hallelujah. He is wonderful. My Savior is so wonderful. He is wonderful. Hallelujah. He is wonderful. My Savior is so wonderful. Hallelujah. Beloved, we continue. Our last scripture is 2 Corinthians 5.20. Let's hear the word of God. Now then, we are ambassadors of Christ. As though God were pleading through us. We, we implore you on Christ's behalf. Be reconciled to God. Beloved, what does ambassadors do? Say ambassador from France, being in America. What does he do? He does the work that his government want him to do. That is why he is representing him in America. So same thing, we as children of Most High, we are the ambassadors to do the work of our master who has sent us to go and preach the word of God to those who does not know him. So beloved, it is a task. Unto him alone, there is power. So this morning, we have something, we have to commit our ways before him, go out there and win souls. And the prophecy of our Lord Jesus Christ, people will know which is the light, which is the word that transform a life from filthy way to his goodness and his righteousness. We give him all the glory for giving us a message like this. We need it. The soul is thirsty to hear from the word of God in a daily basis. May his will shall be done unto us. May the spirit of God that he has ordained his prophet, end time prophet, prophet can protect him, guide him, him and his family so that the work that is assigned unto him, he will do it and win souls for God's kingdom. Also his viewers, Oh, that listen to him on daily basis. May God Almighty bless and protect you. And also may your heart desire be met in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Oh, him alone is worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen.